And uh, the meeting is officially adjourned. I'm going to turn the mic over to LaDonna and uh, more excitement. Oh, I get to do the fun part of the evening. It's time, it's time. It's time for the ribbon cut. But before I do that, I really want you all to hear me well. There's been, for the past two years, an effort to create the sewer co-op that was the vision of the board of sewer co-op. Many of you have probably heard about the controversy regarding the co-op and its commitment to the community. People ask me this question all the time. What's going on? What I want to tell you is if you're an owner of sewer co-op, you should be really proud of your co-op. I don't say it lightly. It's not that I don't like compliments. I give out plenty of compliments. But when you start to talk about racial equity, when you start to talk about justice, I get deadly serious. Because the life of my children depend upon us making a commitment to change the world as it is today. So I'm not playing when I tell you, you should be proud of your co-op. Now there were people who will tell you things about your co-op that's not true. They will tell you things to get you to act in certain kinds of ways. They will tell you things to make you sign petitions that sound good, but when you get down into the weeds of it, it really isn't good for the community or for the co-op. And I'm saying that they're one and the same. I'm saying that they're one and the same. I'm saying that they're one and the same because the people who are working in this store are from the co-op. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Do you understand that we knocked on 3,000 doors? Do you understand that we spent 10 weeks every weekend talking to these neighbors? Do you understand that the only reason that this store is here is because Mr. and Mrs. Nelson signed the rezoning. Mr. and Mrs. Alexander signed the rezoning papers. People up and down these streets signed these rezoning papers. That is the reason why we are here. We are not here because we landed here. We are here because people said it was okay to be here. So don't you let nobody tell you that that's not true because it is true. It's true that people actually want good food. It's true that people want good jobs. And you know what, have mercy, it's true that black folk eat good. you from what you know to be true about your co-op. See, you know more about your co-op than I do. I've only been at this co-op two years. And it took me two years to find out that you have leadership at this co-op that is authentic and that is operating from a space that is real, about real change, about using the cooperative values to create the commonwealth. So I'm not going to tell you no lie, I'm going to tell you the truth. There are people that will lie to you. There are people that will tell you things that are not true. What I want you to do is to investigate. See, co-op owners are special people. Y'all read everything. <laughs> Somebody asked you to sign something, do me a favor. Before you sign it, would you read it? Before you make a judgment, would you call somebody and ask us about it? Hello, call me and ask me. Would you take the time to consider the legacy of your co-op? If it ain't gentrified the community that it's in now, why would it gentrify another community? Ask yourself a question. What is gentrification? What does it mean? If a co-op doesn't stand against gentrification, frankly, I don't know what does. But I can rest, I rest assured at night when I go to bed that I do not work for a gentrifier. I work for a co-op. And I'm proud to work for this co-op. And I'm proud to open these doors. And 
I know y'all hungry too, right? And I'm standing in front of y'all and something to eat. So let's get up and let's go over here and let's open these doors and let's be proud.